you were kind enough to share that video with me prior to today's show. I'm going to refer to it in a, a moment uh, to ask you some more questions. But before I do that, th obviously, this was a, a massive project. And even the thought of, of doing this, you, it was like, oh, my gosh, how do I charge for this? So how did you charge for this? This was a unique uh, situation for me because, you know, houses I charge by the square foot warehouses I charge by the square foot uh the client found me through my YouTube channel and he started off the conversation with um are you a sports fan and I said yeah you know go Warriors go Giants go 49ers and he goes well that's great we have a project um at the ballpark the Giants play at and right there I was in sign me up um so he said, you know, how do you charge for this? And I said, well, normally by the square foot, how many square feet do we need to scan? And he says, I have no idea. It could be 200,000. It could be a million square feet. Uh, so I knew that that wasn't going to work. So um, we came up with a day rate idea. So I, I charged this particular project on a day rate. Now that you've done all this scanning, three days, 15 miles, 25 Matterport tours, 1,100 scans, multiple pieces of equipment, an additional person helping you. Are you still happy that you charged a day rate? You know, I think I think I would charge a day rate. Um, I would adjust it now that I understand the amount of work that's involved in it. Um, and I might have a caveat of if it goes over a certain amount of square footage, it's going to be X amount more. Um, because ultimately, if I'm going to provide a BIM file or a floor plan or even just a rough square footage of what I scanned, uh, those are always charged by the square foot for the most part. So, yeah, I think I would do a, a day rate plus a caveat of if it goes over this amount of square feet, this is what it's going to be. Okay. Um, 